everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. In this week's video we are going to discuss some of the projects that we've been working on, um, give you an update on some of the repairs that we've done to our caravan, uh, some of the modifications that we've made, uh, well that were promised to me ages and ages ago and <laughs> Keith has eventually got round to doing them. <laughs> yeah, well, we do that. I mean, you can't expect it, everything to be done straight away. I know. You know, things take time. Uh, okay, so in no particular order, as Michelle said, we're going to go over uh, some of the topics. We start with the air awning. We have a camp at air awning. Um, and for those of you who watched um, some time ago, we had a puncher in it. Um, we're going to put a little link, if you haven't seen it, we'll put a link up here so you can have a look at that if you want to. Yeah, we'll do that with each topic that we're talking about. So you, yeah. so if you want to, you can go back and have a look and know what <laughs> we're actually talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, uh, our air awning we've now uh, repaired, obviously, and we've used it four or five several, times, several times yeah. quite a few times and we are delighted to say that it absolutely well let's go and show worked. them yeah okay so let's we're going to have a look this is the part that had a puncher in it and as you can see it's now rock solid this awning's been up for four days um this time out um i'm you know i on the actual video, I was really sceptical about whether I could be bothered to do it um, and just not buy another one for £20. But with hindsight, I think we're really, really pleased that we did do it because if heavens forbid one of the down beams um, became punctured, then I'd have no worries just punch, just repairing that. So absolutely thrilled we did this and um, yeah, recommend it. Now, if you remember when we did the tour of this caravan, the Swift Go 580, um, I wanted the plate rack and cup holders were originally in this one, um, but I wanted them moved over here. It looked like this. And now it looks like this. Okay, so this is now the sweetie cupboard. Um, I had Keith move the plate rack over here because the plate rack was positioned here and you had a lot of wasted space there. You also had cup holders, two chrome cup holders up there, which I personally don't like cup holders. I think you get more storage in a cupboard without them. So we've now moved plate rack over here. As you can see, it's flush against this side panel and you've got a lot more room in this section here for all your cups and mugs and bits and pieces. Okay, so that's that. So I'm really pleased with that. So thank you, Keith. And just one last thing while we're in here, um, on the USB spotlight upgrade, uh, Keith has done the two um, lights here over the bed, which, again, I'm really, really pleased about. So Another topic that we covered was the um, water pipe in the aqua roll. Yeah, the, that um, was the, the, the that, infamous that was curling the pipe. The infamous curling pipe, <laughs> the pipe that curled up. Yeah, if you haven't seen it before, uh, when you plug the water pipe into the aqua roll, ours just kept curling back. Uh, yeah, it, so we, we've had a lot of messages from everyone we have, wanting an update on that, seeing yeah, how we Yeah, we have, and they've progressed. been amazing comments that uh, you guys have suggested. Uh, if it works for you, fantastic. If I'm honest, in the video I did say that I really wanted to get the whale equivalent and I did succumb to that. So, um, this is the whale equivalent. <laughs> oh, Keith, what? you really had my eye out. That's all right, you've got another eye. You've got another eye. So, this is the whale equivalent. Oh. Um, and as you can see, it is so much, it's to the quality of this is so superior to what um, came with our caravan. Um, it's not cheap. It is 43 pounds, uh, certainly at the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're worried I'm going to hit you. Um, it's 43 pounds, and we'll put a link in the description if you want to buy it. Um, sorry. And um, it's a brilliant piece of kit. It, it is so solid, and it just drops into the acro roll, and it goes straight to the bottom and stays there. Uh, the other thing with these as well is they have a quick release button, which you just push down, and it comes out. It Why don't we just so go and show them how to do it? <laughs> oh, all right, let's go and show you how we do it. Come on then. Okay, so we're going to plug it in. It's so, so straightforward. It literally just slides in. And the beauty of these is you've got this button on the top. Just push it and it literally slides out. It is that easy. With the original one, you're having to struggle with it and wrestle with it and taking it out. And, you know, you do worry. I can 
continually worried with the old one that I was going to break it. This is absolutely perfect. I know it's expensive, but I highly, highly recommend it. And then this bit just goes in as normal. Um, and the other thing with this I didn't point out is you can, when if you're going to fill your aqua roll out, you've got a little groove here and the pipe, when you take it out of here, will actually sit in there. So it's a great, great, great piece of kit. And we put our little elastic band on it. Oh yes, don't forget the elastic band. Uh, now this next one is one that I've been waiting for ages for Keith to do. It's not what? a job I can do myself. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. what do you mean ages? <laughs> what do you mean ages? You've it's only been, been waiting a couple of months. It's been ages. It's only been and a couple of months. Yeah, it, it was the ages. round to it job that he kept shouting out. Um, this one we covered in the tour of our Swift Vogue caravan. Um, and it's the wire basket that sits um, in the cupboard under the basin. It's it's really a waste of space, space and yeah, but you it just, just doesn't pull do it anything. Out. It, it yeah. was crazy because the wire basket was there and you couldn't pull it out. So you have to, and it's only a narrow sort of cupboard. Do you so know what? Let's go and show them. Yeah, okay, we'll go and show that you. That'll be more straightforward. You can understand what we're talking about then. Okay. Let's go. This was the offending basket. Um, it just used to sit in here. It wasn't on a sliding shelf and it's, ju it's just really not practical. You can't reach in and get things. Um, so what I wanted was um, a slide out shelf. Now, ideally, I would have preferred a Chrome one, but couldn't find one. Searched all over Amazon and eBay and various stores on Google. Um, so we've got this one instead. It's, it's a white plastic one. It came from Ikea. It was eight pounds. Um, I'll just pop it in and then show you what it looks like. So it's just literally a white plastic shelf on a, on a sliding, um, what do you call that? Sliding? Slider. Slider. A sliding slider. Um, and you can just put all your bits and pieces in there and um, you it's more easily accessed. So that was a really simple job. Um, let's go back outside and we'll talk about it a bit more. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. It's it's so much more practical. Yeah. I, I know it wasn't, it wasn't chrome, which... You know, yeah, that's being a little bit precious, but it's it's so much better. No, you're right. And in fairness, I'm glad that we did uh, get around to doing it. I mean, space being a premium in the caravan, exactly. you've got to use absolutely exactly. every sort of available absolutely. space. And that, that really works. However, can I just say, if you are going to buy it from um, Ikea, it will come as a kit and it comes with a slider and it also comes with all the screws uh, and everything you need. The screws it comes with is that size, and you get a lot of them, but trust me, if you use this, it will destroy the wood, but more importantly... Go through into the fridge. It will destroy <laughs> your fridge. So with these screws... You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> take the screws and throw them away. Oh, Keith, you just had my eye out again. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. The screws that you're going to need, um, if you're putting it in a similar, uh, similar place that uh, we put ours, are this size screw it's a four millimeter by 16 four mil by 16 don't get anything bigger when i put that one in um, i put four screws at the front of it um, the bit that you pull out purely because when you pull it out the weight's going to be at the front um, and just two at the back so six screws um, and it's, it's great really, it's really solid really sturdy yeah it's not going it's, anywhere it's a great piece of kit i think that's about everything that we've I think covered we've isn't covered it? everything that we need to cover I think so yeah, so hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you've <laughs> found it useful in some way. Hope you can hear us over the aeroplane. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Going up there. So um, if you have liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And that's it for this week. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.